You know what's bad? The speaker can't see the slides very well. But that's okay. That's okay. We'll get by. It seems very appropriate. We started today's session with climate change talks. And we're going to end with a little climate change talk. So we've gone full loop at looking at serious changes in our state. It, in Ah, forget this. In 2009, I came to Chico, retired. So I'm one of the people here that doesn't work, okay? I met a man, retired professor in botany from over in the, in the herbarium named Rob Slishing, which many of you know. And he tricked me <laughs> into working he said, do you want to work on Dicentra Unif... Whoops, I'm sorry. Do you want to work on Dicentra... Aha! We'll get this thing yet. Do you want to work on Dicentra Uniflora? And like a fool, I said yes, and I went out to the site with him. That was 14 years ago. And not only Uniflora, but also we've added Dicentra Possiflora to our work. One of the things that's tricky about this species is that it's ephemeral. So when you go out there, it only lasts five to six weeks. It flowers in two to three weeks, both of them, and then it's gone. In that five-week period, six-week period, if you miss what you want to study, you have to wait an entire year. So it takes forever. <laughs> it takes forever, but it's worth it because it's so unique, so very, very unique. The other thing, so, so you have this two- to three-week period to collect. Okay, the other thing that happens is that it's been collected for a little over 120 years. Therefore, if you have herbarium records that have been scanned in, you can, uh, you can, uh, you can look at those scanned records and match them up with the historical data. So the date of collection matches the date of flowering. And then if you can get yourself 100 or 80 of the two different species and plot that against, against, against temperature, historical temperature data, as we see in the lower right, where we have uh, temperatures for the last for the last hundred plus years, then we can begin to match day of collection because that will be flowering versus the time and plot that and get some idea of how much earlier this plant is flowering or these two plants are flowering. And with the uniflora on the left, we see almost approximately 40 days. With the Possiflora on the right, we see almost 30 days. Another way to plot the data real fast and real simple, again, is day of the year versus elevation. And if we plot for the Uniflora on top, day of the year versus elevation, we can see between the two lines, pre and post 1970, where we've had approximately a one and a half degree centigrade change in the California temperature, we can see almost a two week earlier flowering period. 
or timing. We see something a little more variable with the fossil flora. So this is kind of like a canary in a coal mine. It tells us things are changing and they're changing fast. I'm 80 years old. In 1970, I was 27. So in less than one lifetime, we've seen a two week or so shift just in this one plant that's tied into snow melt. So a very dramatic shift. Thank you.